gonna show you something I call Martin of Twist. This is your setup. Okay. You have the Ace of Hearts, Clubs, Spades, Three Diamonds, and the Ace of Diamonds on top of the deck. Okay. You're gonna start off doing a false shuffle. Okay. Just do a jog shuffle. And then what you're going to do is you're going to do a slight pharaoh to the first uh, ace production, which is the gymnastic ace. Okay, you shake here. First ace will pop out like that. Okay, then you bring the in in a wave back on. You don't shuffle because you want your stack still on top. Ace of clubs, spades, three diamonds, ace of diamonds on top, okay? <coughs> Next day's production, you're going to flip over the deck, you show the bottom, okay? As you flip over the pack, these fingers are going to contact the bottom card, which is an ace, and you're going to, it's a secret reverse, okay? You're going to flip, something like that, okay? So we'll show you that again. You have the biddle grip. Okay, this is the underneath view. Your left fingers push this card here over into your pinky here, slightly over. Then you just flip with your thumb of your left hand like that. So when you flip that over, it's going to secretly reverse the next ace. You're then going to <clears throat> hold the deck here. Your pinky's going to push this bottom ace over so that when you come over, you're going to obtain a thumb break at the back, break the deck in half, and you're going to do the Piet Fortin production. Okay, and the way that works is you have a, a right thumb break here, and just as you kind of kick forward and catch, you do the next production. Now you put the left hand packet on top, so you still have your, tap, your stack on top. Ace of spades, three of diamonds, ace of diamonds, okay? Next day's production. You're going to double cut this ace to the bottom. Okay. You're going to cut off about a third of the packet, bring that into the middle, holding a pinky break. Because that's your, your stack there. Your ace of diamonds and three diamonds, okay? Holding a pinky break. Now, you pick up these two guys, you squeeze, and you cut at the break, okay? and your fingers come over in the claw grip. Middle finger at the outer end, ring finger at this side, first finger at the long side here. This is uh, the hot shot cut of Daryl Martinez. Your thumb comes here, brings it around, first finger pushes out. Now your middle finger is going to push up on the corner right here, which is going to cause that to pop out. Thumb is going to press here, okay? making the catch. There's your third ace, okay? Now, at this point you have three diamonds, ace of diamonds, still on top of the pack. You're going to take these three aces, okay? As you square them up, you're going to add secretly onto the back three diamonds. You're not going to show that, obviously, okay? You're going to show one, two, three. Okay, now as you put this back, what's going to happen is you're going to place this uh, so that it's, you're going to reposition this so that it's, uh, three diamonds is in between here. Okay, and the way you do that is you just take the bottom card, the top card, and you count that off like that, holding this as if it was three cards. Really, it's four cards in this order. Ace of hearts, clubs, three diamonds, ace of spades, okay. They're going to think that this is three cards because you're going to do <coughs> the one-handed Arturo Escanio. One-handed Escanio, okay. Thumb here, pinky is holding the devil. These fingers are moving. Have them put their hand on top. Spectator puts their hand on top, okay. They think it's three aces. Now, here's the beautiful part. 
you're going to do the Eddie Fector's production. And here's how that works. Do a hip lift or any type of lift that you want to show no ace on top. Actually, the ace is there, right? You're hiding it. Flip your hand over, take this off, show no ace on top and bottom. Now that's how you do <coughs> the secret reverse of that ace. You just do a simple reverse. Next, take off about <clears throat> a third of the pack, farrow it in. Your first finger is going to catch here because you're going to take these cards and let them jot down. Okay, you then spin this around and you make a magical gesture. You know, wave your hands, snap your fingers, anything you want. Now, when you Jot this forward, you'll get this ace appearing, okay? Now, what happens is um, you bring this to the top, you square up everything. You're going to do uh, <coughs> Alan Ackerman's Rub It Up Vanish. You come over, you hold in the deck for uh, the ultra move. You're going to do the ultra move under cover of your right hand. Okay, so when I take away my hand, I'm going to show you what I'm doing. The thumb's going to bring this back to here. Okay, so that's going to happen as you come over. So you're here. You're then going to show it here. Okay, and right now it's second from the top because you did the ultra move under cover of your hand, right? So it's just going to look like your hand came over. You tap here as if you're going to hold the card in your hand, palm it. Now, as you turn over, fingers of your left hand here are going to push the ace automatically in, okay? So it's actually there, but you're not going to show that. They're going to think it's here. You set down. Their hand is here. Your hand is here, okay? Pretend to rub the ace. And it's nice because now, when they lift up their hand, you, you're not going to show it. I mean, you're going to show it, but this is a, a bunch of uh, Miss Pip shows, okay? Miss Pip show number one. When you flip it over, this is your position, okay? You want to flip it over and you want to check here real fast. They can see four, but what you can see is you want to see if this ace of hearts has the pointy side up, because what you're going to do is you're going to come down and your thumb is going to hide right here, see? It's going to hide the uh, heart there. And you're only going to show half of it because it's the ace of hearts. You're going to show it like the ace of diamonds. Okay, so that will look like that. Okay. Your thumb is covering the pip. So this is the first uh, Ms. Pip show. Now you're going to do an Elm's account for the rest. Okay, you're going to do an Elm's account. You're going to bring this up. Do an Elm's account. And now you can show like this. So it looks like you showed the four aces are there. Now when you pick this up, okay, this is actually a three diamonds, right? But because of the way this is, I mean, you can you can only show so much. You can show that much if you hide the three. You can show the diamond if you want to get really technical with Miss Pip shows. But when you show that, okay, you're going to pick up the deck. As you pick up the deck, you're going to pinky count one card because when this comes on top you're going to respread to show that look there's the aces but in actuality you have the three diamonds in that card hidden behind the ace of spades right so that will look like that looks like it appeared under their hand now you up jog this okay and you're going to go into the divernant uh, utility move because what happens is You've got this here, right? You've got the three diamonds hidden behind the ace of spades, remember. But because you jut this forward, it's gonna they're gonna see all the aces there. When you jut this forward, okay, what's gonna happen underneath your middle grip here is your first finger is gonna do the divergent utility move and still the ace of diamonds underneath the top card of the deck. Okay? That's done with your hands like this. 
you set these guys down. Now, you have this, okay? Now, you're going to um, pink account too, okay? Because what you're going to do is double cut this ace to the bottom of the deck. So you do a double undercut, bringing that to the bottom. Okay? So there it is on bottom, but you're not going to show it. You're going to turn the packet over like this. It's an optical turnover, okay? So what happens is you take off half the deck and your left hand turns at the wrist and this hand turns at the wrist like that. So that's done like that. Now, when you shuffle, you're going to drop one from your right hand, shuffle off, and you're, you're actually shuffling face up into face, into face up. But it looks like you're shuffling face up and face down, okay? Because what you're going to do is when you come up, I'll um, remove the right hand, you're going to do this Storenko reverse, okay? Now, once you do this Storenko reverse, what you're going to do is as your hand comes over here, you're going to pull this card back, okay? Now, the first time you do this move, it's going to fool you. This is a really good one's uh, display. Because you're going to riffle these cards so you can see face down cards. Hey, okay, you're going to flip over and you're going to show the face up cards, okay? But as you do that, this hand is going to bring this face down card from here to here, okay? You're going to show these face up cards. So, what you actually have here is you have the whole deck face up. Then you have two cards face down here and here. Now this will create the optical illusion because it looks like half the deck face up, okay? But because you pulled this card back, when you flip it over, it looks like those are face down and they are face down. And then you push it together. Now, flip over the deck, you're going to do a halo slip cut, okay? This is a halo slip cut. You buckle, give the deck a cut. Now, you take off the top two cards and shoot these cards out, okay? And you say, look, not the top or bottom. That's just to displace the cards, because now all the cards are unmixed, except for one card in here, and it's the Ace of Diamonds, okay? But you're not going to show it yet. Now, pick up this supposedly Aces, okay? You actually have the Three Diamonds and the uh, Spade, Club, and Heart. But you've already showed them previously, so they're going to believe these are the aces. Now here's the part for the uh, for my original uh, one-handed uh, reverse. Because you're going to come to the side, okay? And you're going to fan the cards. So this is a, a sideways angle thing. As you close the fan, I'm going to remove these so you can see the grip. First finger and pinky are on that bottom card. Okay, the top card is the three diamonds. The audience believes that these are the aces. So you're only going to show the back side, okay? As you close this fan up, this is your position right here. See how far I've got first finger and pinky? The audience doesn't know that, okay? Now here's the reverse. As you spread here, this is going to give you cover. Now what happens from the back, see? is as you wave, these fingers flop that over, okay? So that will look like that, okay? What's happening, essentially, is this is getting flipped around by the pinky. So you're going to do that as you fan, okay? As you wave, they're going to, it's going to look like it reverses, okay? You're going to bring that one to here. Now as you close the fan, here's your position again, okay? So you're going to repeat the, the reverse, bring that one to the bottom. Now you have the three diamonds on top, you're not going to show it, okay? As you close this fan, again your position is the position I showed you. First finger and pinky, right? Here's the move. As you go here, Helps if you put a little fanning powder on the cards, but you don't have to, but that, that would help to make it fan better. Okay, there's the move I'm showing you from the back side.
Okay? And that all happens not so much fast as much as this is a smooth move. Okay? It's a smooth move because you don't want to do anything too quick. Now when you get to here, you have the three diamonds. Now you're going to do it, um, my own double Miss Pip show. Okay? You're not going to show this three diamonds, but what you're going to do is you're going to bring the ace of hearts to the bottom just by halves and zooming it there, right? You're going to flip these guys over. Now you're going to get a double lift, and that's going to happen like this, okay? You're going to have the double lift. You're going to bring these cards here and fan them. And you want to make sure that your display is proper before you bring it down. Because see, this is going to look like the Ace of Diamonds, right? This is actually the Ace of Hearts, but because of the way you have the cards fanned out, See, you'll do that up here before you come down. But I mean, this will fool them. This looks exactly like the Ace of Diamonds. I mean, this is an incredible. This is a really old uh, move, but I've added some other moves to it. You'll see it, just a couple subtleties. So that's subtlety number one, is this, this old Miss Pip show. Then what you're going to do is... Uh, you close the right one, uh, the, the top one, very carefully so that you're covering, right? You bring this one to the bottom. Now you're showing that supposedly that's still the ace. Actually, that's the ace of hearts, but you see you can't, sh you can only show it as far as the pip. Okay, and you've got a double right there, so when you flip it over, there's your double lift. So you do the steal back move here with your first finger, okay? See how I steal that in? Now you set this down, then what you're going to do is, uh, before you tell them to put their hand on top, you're going to do a reverse here, and here's a reverse. You're going to palm out the ace of hearts with your right hand. You palm it out, see? You then take these cards, and uh, your hand is just like that for a second. You're going to come over and you're going to, when you set these down, you're going to do a reverse. So you have to get rid of this. So here's how you do it. You palm it out. That's a secret move. Okay. You take these cards and you start to fan and then you uh, kind of just set these off. These three aces, club, spade, and heart. You set these off to the side like that. Now, when you pick this up, this is really the three diamonds, but you're going to pretend this is the ace of diamonds because when you turn this over, okay, and it's towards yourself for a second, all of your fingers are going to move out the way. See? You have to be careful on the subtlety, but your first finger's covering this uh, corner indexes, middle finger's covering that diamond, first finger covers that, and the middle finger covers that. So that kind of happens as you say, hold your hand out. And you're, you're, you're checking like, you know, like, oh, there's the Ace of Diamonds. And you only do this for a split second. Because you could do this if you wanted to. It's not as good. But when you move your fingers out of the way for a second, see, it gives it a better subtlety. Anyway, that looks like the Ace of Diamonds. Because you already showed the Ace a second ago. And then they put their hand on top. Now what you do is you snap your fingers. Look, you unmix all the cards. Except for one card. They think that should be the selection. Because you say the ace of clubs, spades, and hearts turn face up. That tells me your card's a diamond. So you go, here's your card, a diamond. And you, you can miscall it the three diamonds. And then you say, I'll do one more effect. You flip it over. And magically, it's the ace of diamonds. They turn their card that's under their hand. And there's the three diamonds.